Hey everyone, this is Adrian from DraftTime.com, and uh, I'm super pumped right now. And the reason I'm pumped is because the NFL season is about to start on Thursday, and I got these brand new NFL lineup optimizers. And uh, I wanted to share this demonstration video with everyone because uh, I think these lineup optimizers are something that every fantasy football player should not be without. So these optimizers are available uh, exclusively on DraftTime.com. The link uh, to, to our website is available in the description for this video. And uh, we have these optimizers for both FanDuel and DraftKings. Now personally, uh, I prefer DraftKings over FanDuel when it comes to football. Um, mainly because in, in DraftKings you can't draft a kicker. And in FanDuel you can draft a kicker. Or you have to have a kicker. And you know, as many of you know, kickers add... An, a slight element of luck just because their performance is, is not really as predictable as some of the other positions. But another reason I prefer DraftKings is because there's a flex position, which means you could have either a running back, a wide receiver, or a tight end at that flex spot. And so that makes for more variations of, of the lineups, which makes the lineup optimizer that I'm about to show you that much more useful. And, you know, as many of you know, any little edge that you could get in, in daily fantasy means more money in your bankroll. So, my opinion, DraftKings is the way to go. If you want to do FanDuel, you can still do FanDuel. I do FanDuel, but the majority of my bets are with DraftKings. So, if any of you are familiar with our website um, and our lineup optimizers, you would know that we had uh, quite a good amount of success last year using our NBA lineup optimizers. Um, so now I think that we're going to be able to continue that success with our NFL lineup optimizers. So what you're looking at right now is the lineup optimizer for FanDuel um, for week one, which starts on Thursday with the Patriots versus the Steelers. Um, um, so, so this lineup optimizer uses Solver to create the most optimal lineup. So what you need to do is you need to enable Solver. Uh, and in order to do that, you have to go to your options, file, options, add-ins, and then right here where it says manage Excel add-ins, click on go and make sure solver is checked. So once solver is checked, then you actually have to go into your visual basic and you have to reference solver. So in order to do that, you go to developer, visual basic, or you, you could just select alt F11. And then once you're in your visual basic editor, you go to tools, references and then you make sure solvers checked so when that, once that's done you're ready to go you just click this button that says show me the optimal lineups but I kinda wanted to walk you through uh, the spreadsheet and how it works first so what we have here in column G that's our draft time projections so this is this is the projected amount of fantasy points that we expect each player to put up um, these projections we updated daily throughout the day um, we're very confident in our projections um, now that being said I, I have four other columns here three of them are custom projections so you can actually add your own projections uh, from whatever source you want so let's say um, your first projection source says that Tyrell Taylor is going to put up 15 points your second source says 16 points and your third source says uh, 14 and a half points. What that's going to do is um, it's going to change the weighted average projection in column L. The reason it didn't change right now is because you have 0% weight on all those three sources. So if you were to change that, let's say you put 50% on R projections and then 50% on source 1, you see the weighted average projection change to reflect that. Um, and then in column H, you have the season average. Um, personally, I don't use that. The reason it's blank right now is because there haven't been any games, so obviously there's not going to be any season averages. Um, and that's something else you could use if you wanted to put. So let me go ahead and change this back to 100% on draft time since we don't have any other projections in there. Um, you don't necessarily have to hand type in the projections. You could actually uh, do a VLOOKUP to get the projections in there um, if you were interested in doing that. Personally, I only use the draft time projections. I don't use any other uh, sources. And if anyone's familiar with our website from last year, you would know that we actually had all the other sources in our projections in our um, optimizer. 
and we actually did away with that just to avoid any potential legal issues because that's kind of a gray area when it comes to um, copyright infringement. Another great feature about these lineup optimizers is cell W16 or W15 rather allows you to specify how many top lineups you want to generate. Uh, normally I have it set at 10. That's the default. So when you click this button show me the optimal lineups, it's going to show you the top 10 lineups. And you could you could specify up to 100 lineups if you want. And that's something that not a lot of optimizers out there offer. So I'm going to go ahead and run the optimizer and uh, we'll see what it spits out. So what I want to specify is I want to see the top three lineups. So let me go ahead and click this button that says show me the optimal lineups and see what it spits out. So there you have it. This is the top lineup. Uh, it's projected to put up 130.7 fantasy points. It uses the full $60,000 uh, salary. And it gave us uh, Tyrod Taylor, Carolina Panthers defense special teams, and uh, Devontae Adams from Green Bay. And the rest of the lineup, uh, if you want to see the rest of the lineup, make sure you go to drafttime.com and uh, you know sign up for our optimizers. And then, But uh, before I sign off, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Um, as you can see, the all top three lineups had Tyrod Taylor at quarterback. So let's say you didn't like Tyrod Taylor. You wanted to exclude him from the lineup optimizer um, just because you, you think he's not going to have a good game. So if you go back to our lineup optimizer and where it says Tyrod Taylor, you put, a, you, you put an X near his name, that's going to exclude him from the lineups, and the lineup optimizer won't pick him up. And let's say you had another hunch. You think Tom Brady is going to have a really good game. What you could do for that is you could um, type in an L and it's going to lock him in. So if you do that and you run the optimizer, it's going to run it around Tom Brady and make sure it excludes Tyrod Taylor. Obviously, if you locked in Tom Brady, Tyrod Taylor wouldn't get picked up anyways because you can only have one quarterback. And there you have it. Uh, make sure you go to drafttime.com. You sign up for our optimizers. And uh, I look forward to hearing from everyone.